No. No. It's not true. No, it, it, it just can't be true. Like, this is all a dream, and life is, is regular. <sighs> this is real, y'all. This is real. Hey, everybody. It's Misha Danielle, and welcome to my channel if you're new, and welcome back if you are returning subby. I am here to relaunch my Let's Talk series, and I know it's been a couple of months, but I promise you all there is good reason why I have been away from filming my Let's Talk, and I will reveal that maybe sometime this year very soon in a vlog so you guys can see kind of like what I've been up to and all that good stuff. I'm excited to share that with you too, but sometimes it's a little too premature so I can't share that just yet. But you all, I was minding my business, so I went to the gram when I came upon this video posted by The Shade Room. Oh, The Shade Room, y'all. They have everything. So somebody submitted a little video. They saw Ken from Diara. Ken needs no introduction. You know, they're the infamous couple here on YouTube. They are just loved, I mean, I don't know one person uh, that actually does not love them. Like, you just love them. It's not even love that you hate them. You love them, okay? I haven't watched them for so many years, and so I was super excited, you know, of course, when Kim proposed. I'm just excited for their future together, so I did not want to believe that was him. I know if you, um, if you may not know that Ken does have a twin brother, his name is Chris, and people were going over to Chris's Instagram saying, hey, is that you? You know, you got twins, right? Although, I don't really they look alike they look like brothers but not you know twin brothers they're not identical for sure but they have like their own separate looks so you can know who's who but you know chris pretty much said no it's not me he did give out his cash app if you had questions he even went live on ig you know he stated that his relationship with ken they're not like this but they check in with each other every now and again it's just kind of the relationship they have it's kind of where it's at but you know hey he took advantage of the situation it was like hey you got questions Here's my cash app, you know, bring that tip, I bring the answer, right? So, you know, that was really interesting to see that unfold, but I was really disappointed because I'm like, oh my goodness, if that's not Chris, that has to be Ken, right? Or a really serious lookalike, but then you have the evidence of their Tesla parked right off to the side, and I'm like, okay, yeah, that's Ken. Ken actually spoke out today, and he decided to post, you know, his point of view on his IG story, so I am gonna post that for you all, and I'm gonna read it along. I'll start by saying that every story I've seen on social media is false. I met the girl an hour before that video at the lounge because we were all in the same area celebrating the same thing. We had a brief introduction in the lounge which started by her saying, hey, I know who you are. She wasn't the first person nor the last to say that to me and everybody around me knows that. We all leave out the lounge having a conversation and there was zero flirting involved. I was leaving and proceeded to give her a hug and inappropriate touched her but 100% I admit that. Did we talk before that night? No. Did we talk after? No. Did we flirt? No. It was a mistake on my part and I won't make excuses for it because it hurt people I care about. There was no hidden motives, no contact information was exchanged, no kisses. Whatever y'all think happened outside that video did not happen. That conversation lasted every bit of five minutes, but again, I admit I was wrong for being in that situation and not being smart enough. I'm legit getting death threats over this. Family think it's funny. Got some solid friends who know me and know my heart in the right place. I made a mistake and I stand on that. I'm not making no video about it. I'm not going live about it, nor am I going to be hateful about it. I was caught in a situation I shouldn't have been in. Whether you believe it or not, doesn't matter. That's the entire truth of what happened. To the people reaching out with death threats, hope they make you feel better by telling me to kill myself. To those concerned, I'm good. To those who have called and texted me, I'm good. I'm disappearing for a while and will be out of reach. I'm sorry, dear. You don't deserve the pain I've caused, the embarrassment you suffered, or the hurt I've brought onto you. Wow, y'all. So, you know, he definitely confirms that it was him. I don't know if he was referring to Chris when he mentioned that family think it's funny. Maybe, maybe not. He mentioned, you know, he heard people that he loved, so of course he's referring to the era. I don't know how often, this was posted last night, but I'm not sure how long ago that particular night that was recorded, how long ago that was, but I don't know. It's a little too much, right? So, you know, he admits that he was wrong, he's about to go ghost for a while, so you all don't expect him to make a video about it, okay? So we can assume the era's not gonna make a video about that. And the young lady that was hugged up with him that, you know, for a brief moment on the video, she actually has an Instagram and look, these key pages, they are on it. So her IG, I'll have it up on the screen for you, Morgan Pierce, she decides, you know, this one post caught my eye. Y'all see why he wanted to touch it. Mm. Okay. Look, she's got her bio saying stay positive. 
stay positive. Also in her bio is a link to our YouTube channel. So, oh, she's a YouTuber, right? A lot of you have found her husband who's also spoke out about it. He mentions that he's gonna worry about taking care of himself and his daughter. And you know, hey, looks like mom is in and out of the life. I don't know. But he said that's all that matters too. He also mentioned, follow him. He also mentioned if you have questions, cash at him. So I don't know. Him and Ken's brother with this cash app stuff, like, look, they like, look, we're gonna take advantage of the situation. You've got questions, we've got answers. Where's that cash app? Okay, where's my money? That's what they're doing, y'all. Interesting. But um, I'm not sure her name. The two pages, I'm sure they mentioned it probably so, but we'll call her the young lady. The young lady that was with Ken, she also put in her IG story her own personal statement. Okay, so she says, just so my end is clear, this will be the only post I make. Let me start by apologizing to Ken as well as Sierra. Had no type of intentions of ruining a relationship. We literally were in the club. Everyone left at the same time. We had a very brief conversation. We were not flirting. We have not had any communication before or after the video came out. In the video, we hugged and then he touched my butt. If you continue to watch, I stepped back and leaned on the car. I was not rubbing on him. I didn't go home with him, didn't even go to his car. With all the death threats and foul words on my parenting and well-being, I pray y'all feel good about those. But then our next story says, go click the link in the bio. I'm going to make a video about what happened. Look, I mean, everybody is taking advantage of the situation, right? So she's going to make a video. Everybody's going to go watch and probably subscribe. Her channel is going to blow up. Maybe her husband is in on this and they're going to be like this infamous couple, right? And it, all it took was just a little leakage, right, of a video. Maybe it's like a YouTube channel, you know, YouTube couple initiation process that they have to go through now to hype it all up so they can already have the subbies and the channel takes off, right? Maybe they really know D uh, Ken and Deera. Maybe so. And this is like, hey, we're going to help you with your channel. Let's go, you know, plan all this out. What y'all thinking? No? Maybe. Y'all let me know down below in the comment section. But also she says, no, Ken didn't type on our apology. I haven't waited for someone to say anything. And when he did, I said my part. Because people were still sending me hateful and threatening messages. Like I said previously, I don't have any communication with him before or after all this. I'm done defending myself in this situation. So she's spoken right for now. But remember, she's gonna make a video about it. So are y'all gonna watch? I mean, aren't we all gonna watch? I don't know. I don't know anything about this. This is crazy because I just, I just want the and Ken to just, you know, stay together. This DK game for life, right? Right? Look, Vlogmas is coming up. You know, you, you guys, they are infamous for their Vlogmas videos. Can you imagine a year with no Vlogmas from Deara Ken? Look, oh my, this is too much, okay? First it was Nick and Ken. Look, I'm still trying to grasp that situation, okay? Because I'm not here for that either. They had broke up and he had moved out the house and she's about to give the house up and the house too big. It's too much. And now Deara and Ken, look, I was looking forward to this wedding. I was so excited we can't propose to her. This just has to work out. Better decisions have to be made. So these couples can stay together. It's too much. It's too much. It's too much for, for YouTube. YouTube is just, it's just too much. How are y'all feeling about this? Are y'all okay? I am not okay. This morning I was like, I'm not okay. This is just too much. I'm trying to move forward with my own life. Okay? But this is just a step back. Goodness, I mean, I don't feel feel like y'all would get it unless you are avid Ken and Deer watches Deer and Ken, as the channel says. But this is just too much. Y'all gotta let me know in the comment section down below. You know, is Ken wrong for doing what he did? A lot of people too are also saying, why are you hooked up with anybody during a pandemic? Okay, I, look, you all have to tell me if you're watching this video and you are from Atlanta, you live in Atlanta. Every content creator from Atlanta always likes to defend himself by saying. Atlanta is open. It's open. COVID, Atlanta is open. So wait, does that mean that there's no COVID in Atlanta? Because if so, if so, I'm about to go there because I'm tired of living like this, right? There was no mask wearing going on, okay? Everybody say Atlanta is open. It's open. Y'all ain't got no cases though? Let me find out, Georgia. Let me find out. I can pack my bag and be out. Let me find out. Hmm. It's too much, but I'm curious, you know, you guys gotta let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. If you would like more Let's Talk videos, they are coming back. Please let me know that as well. And if you have not already subscribed, go ahead and do so as well as click the notification bell so that you can be up to date and notified each time I upload a brand new video here on the channel. Also give this video a thumbs up for channel engagement. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.